Where the deer and the alligator play, the University of Houston Clear Lake is starting to see changes in its population. Not only in the deer, but in the students as well. So as you enter this lovely wooded area that we call campus, remember that the signs that you read that say wildlife on campus can mean more than one thing. Welcome to Fall 2010, I'm Jenny McHugh. Let's get wild. I'm Dana Lizek and welcome to Nick's Signals. First up, we have a story about Lego life at the Space Center Houston. Dana. Lego Castle Adventure is a new exhibit at Space Center Houston. Kids are encouraged to dress up and participate in all the activities Lego Kingdom has to offer. Coincidentally, due to recent budget cuts, NASA has opened up its think tank to anyone ages 4 and up by encouraging individuals to submit their own Lego spaceship designs. This is my spaceship design. And this is mine. Don't forget about mine. Clearly mine is the superior submission. For more information about the Lego Castle Adventure at Space Center Houston, visit spacecenter.org. Next up, we looked into the serious side effects from students who suffer from too much stress. What happened to education anyway, and who is assigning all this material? Midterms are approaching, and students everywhere are starting to feel the stress. To keep yourself and your friends safe during this potentially hazardous period, Nick Signals is covering some of the tips of an individual who suffers from too much stress. Suffering from headache behind the eyes. An uncontrollable eye twitch. Obvious tension in the neck, back, and shoulders. Irritability. And just plain exhaustion. Wow! Talk about stress these days! Well, I hope that last story doesn't change your mind about the next one, because colleges and universities are at their all-time high for enrollment. Dana? Recent statistics have shown that more and more people do not want to face the bleak job market. As a result, higher education enrollment is at record levels across the nation. The University of Houston Clear Lake has also benefited from this increase and has broken the 8,000 student mark for the first time in the university's history. This is great news considering there was nowhere to park before 8,000 people went here. Unfortunately, the hike to class will now be even longer for some students. On the upside, at least students don't have to worry about obesity anymore. Wow, lots of interesting yet scary facts about life in general. I'm going to find it hard to sleep tonight, especially after hearing our last story. Pay close attention because this one will make your skin crawl. You come home from a late night of whatever it is that you do. You take a shower and you get into bed and drift off into your imagination land. You feel something bite you. Ah, uh, you just ignore it and go back to your happy place. But it's too late. It's on your feet. It's on your toes. It's on your fingers. It's on your arms. And it's in your hair. It is all over your body, going up and over your pillow, sucking your blood. No, no, it's not Edward. It's a bed bug infestation. We're not saying these things are everywhere, but these bugs are making a comeback for the first time in 50 years. These Rice Krispie sized bugs are everywhere from hotel guests to homeowners to shoe stores. So try not to think about this next time you crawl into your warm, cozy bed. Thank you for watching Mix Signals. Check out the newspaper, which is probably lying in your grandmother's driveway or you can check us out online at www.uhclthesignal.com. I'm Dana Lizek. And I'm Jenny McHugh, and that's the news you need to know. Just another perfect day, but before you know it.